Hey, hey, welcome back. On this episode of Unusual Foods, we'll be taking a look at the tiger striped squash or the mini tiger pumpkin. So this guy, you can see here, it's, it's cut on one side. You can see what the inside looks like. It's kind of a light yellowish color. It has a ton of seeds inside. So if you're looking for something that's gonna produce a lot of seeds that you can dry and then uh, grow the next year, this is, this is a good one for that. But uh, typically it's grown as a decorative pumpkin, but you can't eat this. So we are gonna eat it today. And that's what this part is here. This has just been steamed up. So let's try this one out. So right away, it looks very pumpkin-like. The skin, um, this has been steamed. So it might have a bit of a different texture if I baked it. But yeah, the skin is just peeling right off. Mmm. Well, it doesn't taste like a pumpkin. It has pumpkin qualities to it, but it has its own taste for sure. So it tastes like a pumpkin, but if you added a bit of extra sweetness and some sort of other spice, can't, I can't put my finger on it, some sort of other spice in there. Mmm. It's like if you added some, a little bit of cinnamon and maybe like, I don't know, some of those rich, those rich spices that kind of go in a pumpkin pie kind of mix. There's almost like a lingering sour note to it. It's obviously not sour, but there's a kind of a weird flavor. I gotta look. My spice rack is right here. I don't know, I can't, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know if it's like cardamom or coriander, a bit of a licorice taste or something to it. There's something very distinct and unique that is not a pumpkin and very, very flavorful. So if you're looking for like a pumpkin or a squash that's flavorful, this is the one to go to. Obviously the best, so in my opinion, is kombucha squash, but this is actually pretty good. Um, like with a lot of squash, what I end up doing is making hummus out of it with some chickpeas or black beans. So that's probably what I'll end up doing with this. Yeah, so it's much sweeter than I expected. It's pretty tasty. And uh, definitely give this one a thumbs up. You should try it out. So that does it for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode of Unusual Foods, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Until next one, have a great day.